Let us understand the question. Eight men start a job, worked on it for 12 days. From the 13th day, one worker joins them every day. And the job was finished in a total of 20 days. Using this data, if needed, you should be able to define the work in terms of man days. So this is given to us, the quantum of work. Now, if the same job has to be done starting with n workers, so n, uh, unknown that we have, and each day one worker quits, then what is the minimum value of n? Not many students understand this meaning of minimum. So you'll have to hypothetically think you're starting with some workers. Earlier there were eight and then some people get got added and all. So this time someone is going to get subtracted. So let me start with a little larger numbers. For example, I start with 15 workers. Then as days progresses, they become 14, 13, 12, and then a stage will reach when they'll become three, two, one, and then the one will also quit. By the time the last guy quits, the work should be done. So if I start with 15 and the last guy quits and the work is still not done, then 15 is not the, uh, I could not finish the work with 15 men. Then probably I need to start with 16 men, 16, 15, 14. And if the work still does not get done by the time the last guy quits, then 16 is also not enough for me. So I need to probably start with 17. So that's the meaning of what is this minimum value of n that I need to find. And if you are interested in a more tough question, if n is the least possible value, what we just now found, then how many days will it take for the work to get done? Now, even the good students, I think that both these questions are same. The answer that we got for n over there is same as the answer for the number of days taken, but it is not so students. Right? It's a good question. Try it. You're not going to improve your problem solving skills by watching someone do it. Uh, so give it a good try. I have already solved this question algebraically in a blog article and in an exam I think uh, most of the students are going to attempt it algebraically itself and it can be done in two two and a half minutes so please read that solution if you are interested what I'll do now is a logical solution now in an exam it may strike may not strike but that's not the point the point is we are not in an exam and let us just build up our problem solving skills or a logical ability right so watch this now so i have days and uh so one two three it starts and then nothing is happening right up till the 12th day up till the 12th day there's no story and then from the 13th day there's something one person is getting added 14th and the work gets done on the 20th day now what is the number of men it starts with eight men on the first day eight men on the second day also eight men on the third right till here there are eight 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 men and then one gets added one more gets added now both these series are increasing by one so the difference is going to remain same. So here the difference is 4, 4, 4. So it's easy to say 16 people are going to work on the 20th day. So this defines my work. This is the quantum of work. The man days that I was talking about, if I sum this up, it will give me the amount of man days. But here when I'm solving, I don't need to find this out. Now, in a new situation, what is happening is I'm starting with n and every day a number is reducing n minus 1, n minus 2, n minus 3 and so on. So I'm looking at a series of consecutive numbers here and that series of consecutive numbers here, I get uh, these are all 8, then it starts with 8, 9, 10. So I'll start reverse. So this is 16. Then the previous day would have been 15, the previous day would have been 14 and so on. This is 10, this is 9, this is 8. Now the previous day there were 8 people here, but I want this series which is decreasing. So out of these 8, I'll just take 7. 
okay so that the series is the decreasing order right and then one man's day i'll take it separate okay the previous day also there were eight so i'll only consider six in this series and two men days i'll consider it separate series right and so on i'll continue now this is 16 15 14 13 7 6 it will go on right up till 1 now where will it be 1 this will be 16 16 to 1 is 16 terms so 16 terms will be from the fifth day onwards so fifth day this eight people will become one and seven extra and now i'll not take these anymore okay so all this eight works is not accounted eight man days is not accounted in the earlier series this series right hope you got so i've i've divided the total work into two different series and what are the two different series one is the series of consecutively decreasing numbers right till one and the other is the rest of the work so this is sort of work remaining work this is done 16 15 14 till 1 8 fours are 32 summation of uh, 1 to 7 summation of 1 to 7 is 7 fours are 28 and so 60 extra units of work remain other than this done and why am i interested in this this is if i would have started with 16 men then they would have reduced till one and the total this much work is done but 60 man days of work is yet to be done so i cannot start with 60. got the idea right so this is a logical bit now how do we come to an answer from this i still need 60 man days of work to be done had i started with 17 so that day 17 man days of work would have been done so i subtract 17 how much will remain is i would have 43 work more to be done so even if i start with 17 every day a person quits and so on and last day i would still be left with 43 man days of work so this also doesn't help so if i start with 18 18 man days of work is done so subtract a 20 that's a 23 add a 225 units of work is still left so hopefully you would have got the idea even if i start with 19 19 work is done so i would be still remaining with six okay so watch here so we are reaching that answer had i started with 19 men 19 18 17 16 till one this much man days of work is done i have not totaled this up but i know that six more is left so with n being 19 the work will not get done will not get done right so i can't finish it with 19 but the moment i start with 20 men if i start with 20 men that day 20 man days of work will be done so these six will be done but i will be also doing extra 14 yeah i could do extra 14 so with n is equal to 20 the work can easily be done with 19 it cannot be done so this is my answer to n the minimum number of men that i will need to start with is 20 is that fine with 19 i'll not be able to this is the answer for the first one now it seems a lot of people say i'll start with 20 and the next day 19 18 17 16 until the, the time we reach one the work will be done so that takes 20 days but we have done extra work why will i do extra work so yes i will start with 20 i cannot start with 19 if i want the work to be done but when i start with 20 19 17 16 15 and so on and somewhere the work will get done over here i would not reach this stage oh if i don't reach this stage why don't i start with 19 because with 19 the work will not get done 
right? Hope you get that, right? So how do I find the days now? So this extra 14 is done. So this extra will obviously be from here. So let me highlight this part here. So now I'm going this order. So this one and then next day two and then three and then four and then five and then six and so on, right? Now, 14 extra is done if I reach backwards, if I reach till one. So let me not do one. Let me not do two. So that's three units not done. Three and three, six units not done. Six and four, 10 units is not done. So if 10 units is not done, I have only done an extra four units. Okay, now if I don't do five units, if, if I cross out five units, if I don't, then these four units is not done and then I would be left with one unit of work done. So that work is not going to be finished if I script this. So this is the day when the work gets done. This is the day work gets done. So actually remember there are five people working and I need only these four I don't need. I need only one. Uh, these are extra four. So I would not, in fact, I would not do, there are five men working, but the work that I would do is only one man days. So you could probably, if you talk of fractions, you could even say one fifth of a day. So how many days is this? So from 20th one day, right till five men are working. So how many days are these 20 to five? 20 minus 5 plus 1, 16th day. So the work will get done on the 16th day. And if you need it very precisely, 15 full days of all men. And this day, five men are working, but only one work has to be done. So you could even say one fifth of a day. This is the exact days needed. This will be the 16th.